Neighbors and Friends Forever is filmed before a live studio audience. Hey, Stephen, what you doing? Hey, Joe. I'm preparing for this week's small group lesson. Oh, cool, cool, cool. So um, I wanted to ask you about this morning. Uh, the pastor said this, like, really crazy story. Really? Yeah. Uh, he was talking about this guy named Solomon who chopped a baby in half because these two ladies were arguing. Uh, tell me more. Well, so, like, one lady was like, it's my baby. And the other lady was like, no, it's my baby. And Solomon was like, cut that baby in half. Okay, hold it. <laughs> I have to ask you a very important question. Okay. Were you distracted just a little bit? Uh, maybe just a little bit. Uh, what were you doing? Uh, I was checking to see how well my fantasy football team did. Ah! Okay, so maybe I was partly distracted. Okay, here's the deal. The two women both claimed to be the mother, and one was obviously lying, and one was obviously telling the truth. Drama. Yeah, drama. So Solomon, in his infinite wisdom, decided to uh, tell them both that he was going to cut the baby in half and share it with them, and he knew a real mother would not allow that baby to die. That's actually pretty smart. So what happened? Well, just like he thought. The real mother said, no, give the baby to her, because she didn't want to see him die, and instantly Solomon knew who the real mother was. Hmm. That's pretty impressive. So let me ask you this. Okay. What do you think Solomon would think about my uh, lineup here? <laughs> Neighbors and Friends Forever is filmed before a live studio audience. Hey, Stephen. Hey, How's Joe? it going? I'm doing good. I'm having so much fun reading this article about Billy Graham's life. It's so interesting. <sighs> Sounds great. <laughs> well, what's the matter, brother? Well, I heard a pretty sad story at church this morning, and it's got me a little bit worried. Well, why don't you share it with me? Okay. These guys didn't like their brother's fashion sense, so they sold him for some magic beans and then they threw him in prison. <laughs> Wait a minute. I think I know which story you're talking about, but I don't remember anything about magic beans, so um, I think you have a couple stories mixed up with each other. But the danger was real. <laughs> I'm sure you feel that way. Listen, I think the story you're talking about is the story of Joseph. And with Joseph, he was highly favored by his father, but not so much by his brothers. I know the feeling. Aww. Wow. It sounds like there's something deeper going on here, brother. Well, my brothers are currently mad at me too right now. They are? Yeah. Why? I may have sold a favorite family heirloom. Ooh. Ooh. That's terrible. Well, see, my parents were falling behind on their bills and I thought it'd be a good idea and I sold the stuff and I, I paid it off. Is, is there any hope for me? Hmm. Well, if you look at that story of Joseph, he was put in a very tough position by his brothers. But instead of letting it get him down, he started to gain respect by the people around him. He worked his way up in stature in Egypt. He got positions of authority. And uh, he finally got in a position where he could actually help his family. There was this great drought in Egypt. And Joseph's brothers came to Egypt looking for food. And guess what? Joseph was in charge of food distribution. So see, he was able to help his family when they needed him the most. Huh. So what he did in the bad circumstances, he still grew as a person. And he was able to move past the circumstances that got him there. And that was wonderful because he was able to help his family when they needed him the most. I see. Sorry, hang on oh, a second. Oh, that's fine. Go ahead. Hello? Yes. No, I, I paid those bills off. Yeah, I did. I did. But I took the money from the sale and I, I paid their bills off. But you're not mad? <sighs> awesome. Okay. Great. Well, I'll see you at family dinner on Thursday. Okay. All right. Okay, bye. That is great. It sounds like you got great news. I think so. Now, All right. what else can I sell? Oh, no, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let's talk to your brothers about that first, okay? <laughs> Neighbors and 
Neighbors and Friends Forever is filmed before a live studio audience. Hey, Steven, what are you doing? Why are you doing it? Hey, Joe, just raking, trying to get the yard clean up. Why? Right, what's up? Well, I'm a little confused about the message this morning. The pastor okay. was talking about um, this young girl who got pregnant, and she had to hide it so people wouldn't get angry. Well, that makes sense. What's the confusion? Well, I guess she got pregnant because an angel owed her a favor. <laughs> no. <laughs> she was highly favored. Say what? <laughs> yeah, the angel told Mary that she was pregnant because she was highly favored. Highly favored. I don't know about that. My wife is pregnant right now, and she is highly irritable. <laughs> Be careful with that. No, the angel told Mary that she was pregnant with Jesus because she'd found favor with God, and he trusted her with a very important mission. Uh, she had to be very careful because there were people that weren't really interested in having a savior. Oh, that must have been hard to hide. Yeah, she and her soon-to-be husband had to go on the run and keep a low profile. Kind of like me. How's that? Well, I may have accidentally agreed with my wife when she said she was getting bigger. Oh no, you did Yeah, she was like, do I look fat? And I was like, this is more of you to love, baby. Oh. oh no, she found me. I don't know how, but she found me. You should run. Neighbors and Friends Forever is filmed before a live studio audience. Hey Joe, how you doing buddy? Doing good, I'm just, uh, I'm just sitting here contemplating. Contemplating, okay. Well I'll tell you what, I decided I'd jump the gun on you today. You know it seems like every Sunday after church you gotta come find me and ask me a question. So I thought I'd come over and ask you if you got any questions. You know what, actually I think this week, I think I'm good. Really? Well, I mean, even I can understand the pastor's message this morning about making meaningful connections. Well, that's great. Yeah. Well, okay. If you, uh, if you have any questions, you be sure and ask, okay? Okay. I'll, I'll see you a little later, Joe. All right. All right. Steven, are you still around? <laughs> yeah. Hang on just a minute. What's up, Joe? Well, you know how I'm always coming up with you with questions about the message. Yeah. Or I want to discuss some crazy situation I got myself into. Yeah. <laughs> or I'm just downright confused, and I don't know how to interpret the pastor's message and translate it into any relevant or applicable way for my life. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, usually you're busy when this happens, and I interrupt you. Where is this going, Joe? Well, I just, I wanted to say... Uh, excuse me? What'd you say? We've been neighbors and friends forever now. And you're always there for me. And I just wanted to say that I... I understand. Hey, I love you too, brother. And you know what? You can interrupt me anytime. Aww.